Oh, thank goodness. Officer, please, come quickly. Bonjour, mademoiselle. It has become a madhouse. Madame has been shouting and cursing all morning. I've never seen her so angry. But what great luck to happen upon you. Please, try to remain calm. Uh, first... We don't have time for that. Please, hurry. Mademoiselle, now we are here, I must insist on your name before I can continue any further. I am Officer Hercule Poirot. I am Elizabeth, but it is the maid servant that we must consider. Forgive me, Officer, but are you new to the area? I stand out so obviously. I mean no offence, only I have not seen you before. This is a small town, and you left. Very observant of you, Mademoiselle. We, oui, I was, recently posted here from the city. And a good thing I am here now. Let us get to the bottom of this madness. There has been a theft at the house. Then I am exactly where I should be, n'est-ce pas? It is only one of Mademoiselle Angeline's most valuable bracelets taken from her room. Then its safe return is of the utmost importance. Madame Van den Bosch, the lady of the house, believes Florette is behind it. Mademoiselle Angeline thinks that someone has broken in and taken it. This seems more plausible to me. Merci, mademoiselle. Your assistance has been invaluable. I should not be surprised by my own skills of deduction. Of course, officer. How can I help? One set must be mine, leaving to find you. The other set must be Florette's. She was caught in the rain this morning. Merci, mademoiselle. Your assistance... Uh-huh. 
Some would say a lucky guess, I would say a moment of genius. I must take a different approach if I am to uncover the... I cannot see the logic in this. officer how can i there is sir luke but he was called away from the house on a personal matter excuse me officer the carving on the bench forgive me i was not suggesting oh of course not yes <laughs> i suppose there must be would you know the identity of the mysterious l and e i'm afraid not perhaps they were old residents a pair of star-crossed lovers, perhaps. Love is not something that can be harnessed. That is Madame's rule. And I wouldn't want to be the one that challenges. Merci, mademoiselle. Magnifique. Order and method. That is the way. Things are beginning to become clearer. Another success. I never doubted myself. The pieces of the puzzle are finally coming together. I have conducted my initial inspection of the house and grounds. It is now necessary for me to speak with those in the house. Of course. Thank you, officer. I'm sure Madame Van den Bosch will be happy to hear the police are investigating. Commanding officer, I requested. No, dear madame, I am Officer Hercule Poirot. I can. This will simply not do. 
I sent Elizabeth to bring me a competent lawman. And that is what she has brought, madame. Now, I would like to continue my investigation. You understand correctly. It is my daughter's bracelet. It is a rock And valuable to your daughter, no doubt. It was... Yes, it was from her late father, my husband, the Viscount. And it has not gone missing. It was stolen. Don't be ridiculous. I have told you who is guilty. If there had been a break-in, surely it would be your... If it was the case, of course, madame. Although I cannot predict a burglar's movement. Perhaps then you have proved me right, and you are the competent officer I require. I do not believe so. I know so. It was Florette, the maidservant. I knew I could not trust her. And why is that? Because I don't. I do not need to explain myself any further, especially to a measly officer. Hmm. Merci, madame. You have been most helpful. What do you think you're doing in here? Who let you in? Mademoiselle Angeline, I presume. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Officer Hercule Poirot. An officer of the law? But what are you doing here? Don't you need to be chasing down the burglar? Your bracelet has gone missing. It is only correct. I speak with all members of the house and investigate the scene of the crime. Ah, if we must. Uh, merci. I will attempt to take up as little of your time as possible. It is of great value. Monet was no object to... F it was a gift from your father. I can only assume it holds great value. Of course it does. What a silly thing to say. It's a good thing Maman had it in charge with the others. It must have been while I was down at breakfast with Elizabeth. 
she was with me all morning. Mademoiselle Elizabeth was with you until you discovered the bracelet was missing? She was. She woke me up later than usual. I washed and dressed, and we went... Some rat stole my bracelet this morning. Even though it's clear someone has broken in, Maman refused to listen and blamed Florette. You sound very convinced it was taken by someone from outside of the house. My window was open when I returned. How else can you explain that? You have been of great help to my investigation, mademoiselle. I will do everything I can... The longer you are here, is one bracelet not enough? I have checked everywhere. You can ask Elizabeth if you don't believe me. It is only my bracelet that it... As I have stated, it is my duty to speak with every member of the house. You have been of great help to my investigation, mademoiselle. And what is your... May I ask? You may not. Honestly, your prying is getting on my last nerve. Merci, madame. You have... Oh. 
What a revelation! The longer you are here, how should I know? I returned to the room and father was faced. So it is your father? Isn't he handsome? I remember watching him sit for it. He kept looking across. Maman never wants to talk about him. She says it's too hard. I'm sure that is not the case. It must have been very hard. I miss him every day. He always knew how to put a smile. In the summer, Father and I would play hide and seek while Maman read. She always helped me though. I would stand in the gazebo, cover my eyes and count. And when I turned, he was nowhere to be seen. Maman would lower her book and flash a look towards his hiding spot. After I found when I was hiding, it didn't matter where I was. He could never find me. I always thought I, I was an expert hider, but when I think back, he always knew just what to say. I'm sure he would want you to be smiling today, even under such suck. You have been of great help to my investigation, mademoiselle. I... Magnifique. Thank you.